hello my dear students now the next question is question number 11 okay and in this question an electron is released from origin at a place where a uniform electric field E and a uniform magnetic field B exist along the y axis and the negative z axis respectively find the displacement of electron along the y axis when its velocity become perpendicular to the electric field for the first time so in this question there are two forces acting on this electron okay so if you are uh, talking about the force due to electric field so this force due to electric field that is fe can written as minus e into e vector and uh, here it is given that the electric field is in negative is in negative y direction so this electric field can written as this electric field can written as a minus e j k because it is in negative y direction so this force due to the electric field that is the electric force will become e into e j k because this minus minus will cancel out now if you are talking about the magnetic force so this magnetic force uh, fm is equal to minus e velocity v cross b but here in the equation initial velocity is equal to zero because it is uh, released so this initial velocity vector is equal to zero okay but the velocity is changing its direction continuously so what we will do we will consider this velocity u vector will have two component one is along the x-axis and another is along the y-axis so this velocity vector okay this velocity vector can written as vx i k plus v y j k because we want to find the magnetic force and this magnetic force is perpendicular to the velocity vector okay and uh, the magnetic field is in the negative z direction so the direction of this magnetic field force will continuously change okay now if you want to find this magnetic force then you have to do the cross product of velocity and magnetic field okay so this magnetic field b vector can written as b minus b k cap why it is k cap and why it is minus because negative z axis okay now if you are finding the cross product that is a v vector cross a b vector okay we can use the concept of determinant so in first row i cap j cap and k cap will be there and in second row the coefficient of velocity that is vx and vy and the z component is equal to zero because it is moving in xy plane and uh, in the the coefficient of magnetic field is only in along the z direction so it is minus b okay so it is equal to i cap we are solving for the i cap and it will become minus b into v y and the remaining component will be zero now if you are solving for the j okay <clears throat> if we are uh, solving for the j component now if you are solving for the j okay so minus j k and uh, this vx will multiply with b so we will we'll, we will get a vx into b okay and remaining all coefficient will be equal to zero okay so this v vector cross b vector now will become minus b into vy i k plus vx into b into j k okay now if we are just placing with the value of this v cross b in this fm 
so the magnetic force fm vector will be minus e and the bracket minus b into vy into ik plus vx into b into j k. so you can multiply this minus e inside the bracket so the magnetic force you will get f vector is equal to e into b into vy i k minus e into vx into b into j k. that is the magnetic force okay so what will be the net force this net force okay is the electric force both are acting simultaneously and the magnetic force okay so what is this electric force that already we have discussed that is e into e and it is in j k and what is magnetic force that is e into b okay into v y into i k minus e into b into v x j k okay so this uh, j k j k we can add together so finally we will get e into b y okay e into b into v y i k plus e into capital e minus e into b into v x j k okay that is the magnet uh, that is the net force now we will find the acceleration because we will find with the help of acceleration we will find the instantaneous velocity and instantaneous velocity uh, should be perpendicular to the electric field means perpendicular to the y axis okay so now the acceleration can written as this acceleration vector is the force vector that is the net force divided by mass okay so it will become e b v y divided by m into i k plus e e capital e minus e into b into v x j k divided by m that is the acceleration okay and uh, now if this acceleration we can written as a x i k plus a y j k okay and is equal to this expression so we have to use the next slide now so this is the x component of acceleration this is the y component of acceleration so we can return as a x equal to x component of acceleration a x equal to e into b into v y divided by m and the y component of acceleration a y is equal to e into e minus e into b into v x by m okay now this x component of acceleration can written as delta v x by delta t which is function of which is function of y component of velocity okay and uh, if you are finding this d v y by delta t because we have to do the partial differentiation okay because uh, this this velocity is function of time and position both because that's why we are using the partial differentiation is equal to e into e minus e into b into v x divided by m now if you are differentiating this this uh, second term so we will get del square v y by del t square is equal to differentiation this is the constant term so it is equal to 0 minus e into b by m okay into del v x by del t and what is value of del v x by del t that is e b m into v y so we will get the second order partial differential equation okay second order partial differential equation that is del square 
वी वाई डिवाइडेड बाई डेल टी स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू माइनस ई बी बाई एम इन टू ई बी बाई एम इन टू वी वाई ओके सो इट इज अवर सेकेंड ऑर्डर पार्चल डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डेल वी वाई बाई डेल टी स्क्वायर प्लस ई स्क्वायर बी स्क्वायर बाई एम स्क्वायर इन टू वी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो and if you are comparing this equation okay with uh, with this uh, equation of shm okay so this term is omega square that is angular frequency so it is e square b square by m square so now omega that is angular frequency will be equal to e into b into m now the solution that is vy is equal to a is equal to a into sin this a is the amplitude of velocity so vy is equal to a sin omega t plus delta okay a sin omega p plus delta now our next task to find this value of a and value of delta so at t equal to 0 we are using the initial condition this initial velocity is equal to 0 a into sin delta it will become 0 0 plus delta so definitely this sin delta is equal to 0 so this delta is also equal to 0 so this initial phase is equal to 0 okay now if you are differentiating this del vy with respect to tel uh, with respect to time t so we will get a into omega into cos omega t and this delta is equal to 0 now again if you are putting equal to 0 so the acceleration along the y axis uh, is equal to just a minute at t equal to 0 only the magnetic uh, electric field will uh, will act because uh, at uh, t equal to 0 that is initially no magnetic force will work because the velocity is equal to 0 and if this velocity is equal to 0 so the magnetic force is equal to 0 only electric force so this is acceleration along the y axis is equal to a into omega into cos 0 and cos 0 is equal to cos 0 is equal to 1 so it is equal to e into e by m that is the electric force and electric force divided by mass is the initial acceleration into a okay so here the value of a is equal to e into a divided by m into omega so you can put value of omega and can find the value of a also okay so our velocity in y direction is equal to a sin omega t plus delta now we have to find so this e y is b y is equal to a what is this a it is e into e divided by m into omega what is omega it is e into b divided by m into sin omega t and del is equal to 0 already we have solved it so this e sorry this small e small e and m m will cancel out and you will get capital e divided by b into sin omega t this is our velocity so this velocity along the y axis okay velocity along the y axis that is vy that is vy is equal to e in divided by b into sin omega t okay and uh, when this velocity vector become perpendicular to the electric field means this y component become equal to 0 so when when velocity vector become become perpendicular to electric field okay 
and electric field is in y direction so y component should be equal to 0 so this vy should be equal to 0 means e by b into sin omega t should be equal to 0 okay it should be equal to 0 so this sin omega t is equal to 0 means omega t is equal to pi first time okay uh, it can be written as n pi but we are talking about the first time is asking in the question so we have to use pi only otherwise n pi we can write and what is this omega okay this omega already uh, we have calculated it is e b by m so this omega is equal to e b divided by m into t okay is equal to so that is this t naught we can write it is required time when it will have the velocity component perpendicular to the y direction perpendicular to the electric field so this will become pi into m divided by e into p okay that is the time after which and it is asking in the question that you have to find the displacement in y direction so if you want to find the displacement along y axis so this y component of velocity we can use that is vy is equal to e by b into sine omega sine omega t and this vy can written as delta y by delta t is equal to e by b into sine omega t now we can integrate both sides so this delta y can written as e by b into sine omega t into delta t and we are integrating from y equal to 0 to y from t equal to 0 to t okay so this y is equal to e by b and uh, this sign having integration minus cos omega t divided by omega and we can put limit from 0 to t okay so this y component is equal to e by b minus divided by omega and uh, cos omega t minus and this is t naught okay this is t naught that already we have find after which it is uh, it become perpendicular minus one so it is e divided by b and what is the omega omega is equal to e b by m so e b by m into one minus cos omega into t what is this t that is pi by omega that is pi by omega so this omega omega will cancel out and cos pi will become minus 1 so this y component is equal to e into m divided by e into b square and it will become 1 plus 1 so finally we are getting 2 e b 2 e m divided by e b square that is the displacement along the y axis Thank you very much.